Hey guys, it's Arika Misha in the kitchen getting ready to do what I do. And today is Saturday morning breakfast. And this morning I'm going to be cooking breakfast sliders. Yes, you heard me. You heard of the hamburger cheeseburger sliders? This morning I'm cooking breakfast sliders. Something my brain came up with. Alright, anyway, so first thing I have is some nice soft rolls. I like these rolls. They're really, really soft. It is the Martin's Sweet Dinner Potato Rolls. Potatoes, so you know they're gonna be soft. These are really good and soft. All right, I have two packs of those. I have some Smithfield Thick Cut Bacon, cause you know we don't do nothing skinny over here. Thick Cut Bacon, gotta be the Thick Cut Bacon. Yes, and plus it was on sale at Publix, but I won't get one. All right, so we got the Smithfield Bacon, and we got the Smithfield Anytime Cube Ham. Oh yeah. Basically, it's just the ham, y'all, nice and cubed up for you. And we got some Publix Jumbo eggs. And we got some Kraft mozzarella cheese. The mozzarella cheese. Oh, yeah, y'all gonna see how easy these is. I'm gonna make some um, bacon sliders, bacon, egg, and cheese sliders. And I'm gonna make some ham, egg, and cheese sliders. Let's go. Okay guys, I've got my little ham cubes in my pan. I did tray up the bacon and put it in the oven. Didn't figure you guys needed to see me traying up bacon and putting it in the oven. Y'all know how to cook bacon. But I trayed it up and put it in the oven. So, all right, so now we're moving on to my cubed ham. Um, and as you see, I got the cube ham, the little, <clears throat> excuse me, the little small pieces. It'll make the slider easier to eat instead of getting like the big chunky long ham. So this way, you know, it's like bite size. So it makes the slider easier to eat. That's why I went with the cube ham. And all I'm gonna do, this is already cooked, so all I'm gonna do is just, you know, just put a little, I put a little oil in the bottom of my pan, just spray it a little bit, cause you know this ham's gonna make its own oil, so I ain't wanna do too much. So I've got a little low heat here, a little medium high heat, and I'm just gonna, you know, get these browned, just roast it a little bit, just pan fry them up real good. That's what I'm gonna do to the cube ham. And then the next thing I'll be showing you guys um, is how I'm gonna cook the eggs. I'm not cooking um, the eggs scrambled style. I'm gonna do like in this pan right here, I'm gonna use the same pan. Um, I'm gonna use it to make like little mini uh, omelets. That way I can just, y'all will see how I'm gonna do it, but I just wanted to let y'all know. All right, so the bacon's in the oven. And you know what, this is something quick and easy you can cook for the family. I'm just showing y'all a quick, easy, shortcut way of doing it. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, get this ham browned up. Um, so you guys know that's what I'm gonna do. Let me get this ham browned up. I just wanted to come and show you guys. And then I will come back to show you guys how I'm going to cook the um, eggs. I just want the video to mainly focus on how I'm putting everything together to make the sliders because that's what's gonna take most of the time, showing you guys how I'm cooking those. I'll be back. Okay guys, I'm back. Um, I've already got my ham all cooked up. Just wanted to come and show you guys real quick how I'm doing the little um, small omelets. And you guys will see how it will all come together. And of course, um, with my scrambled eggs, don't forget I did add milk. I always add milk to my eggs. It helps them fluff up, makes nice, uh, nice fluffy eggs. And I sprayed the bottom of my pan here. Um, you guys know I always, I'm always using my Publix canola oil. Sometimes I use butter, but I like to use this spray because the spray is easier. It's easier, you know, when you're cooking an omelet. And I've already sprayed the bottom, put my eggs in. And I always spray the top of my omelet so when I flip it, you know, to the other side, it helps it brown and cook up. Just a little trick I've learned over the years of cooking. And one thing that helps your uh, omelets come out great too is to use a non-stick pan. You know, makes it easier, especially when you're trying to flip it. And I love this pan, you guys can see. I gotta get a new pan actually. This pan is not that old. I think this pan isn't even a year old, but I cook so much, it's starting to, you know, turn a little brown. So I definitely gotta get a new pan. 
I think I have a new one. It's still in the box, I think. See that non-stick pan helps your egg move around, don't get stuck. That's one thing I like about a little non-stick pan. And this is a really good pan. If I can remember, I'll try to leave the link in the description box below because I got this off of Amazon, like real cheap. But yeah, see, that's it for the omelet, guys. Quick and easy. Let's move on. Okay, guys, I'm back, and we're going to go ahead and get our breakfast sliders put together. On this side, I'm going to make the ham, and on this side, I'm going to make the bacon. So, just, I cut the top of my buns off, of course. Just wanted to come and show you guys and let the main focus of the video be me prepping and showing you guys how I'm going to make them. So, first thing I want to put down is my cheese. Just going to put a little bit of cheese down. I've got my oven preheated to 350 degrees and in case I forget to tell you guys I'm going to put these in the oven for about maybe about about 10 minutes so everything melts together. All right so over here is going to be uh, the ham. I'm going to go ahead and put the ham down. We've got plenty of ham so we don't have to be stingy on the meat. All right. Plenty of ham to go around and I did taste the ham. It is delicious. Y'all saw me. I just put it in the pan for about maybe 10 minutes just to heat it up because it's already cooked. I like to get stuff that's kind of pre-cooked. That way, you know, it cuts back on my cooking time. Makes things easier for me. Let's get our ham spread it around. Make sure everybody got some ham. Alright, let's get this in here, and they're quick and easy to make, quick and easy to make. Make sure you guys can see, yep, you can see. Alright, so, make sure all our ham is on there, kind of smash it down with your hand. And of course when the cheese melts, you know, it's going to help everything stick together so kind of mashing that ham down because you know it's cute ham so it kind of rolls but I'm smashing that down now as far as my omelets I did make eight omelets show you guys how I'm gonna lay that down That's how we doing it. That's why I made eight omelets. Just want to make sure you guys can see. Okay. All right. So, and then I'm going to put a little bit more cheese on top. A little bit more cheese on top like that. Don't want to over cheese it, you know. Don't want to make it too cheesy. All right. And then I'm going to put my top back on here. Get our top on just like that. Just like that. And I like how I set it up for the omelet to kind of stick out the sides. Let me show you guys. See how I've got the omelet? Let me pick it up. See how that omelet's sticking out? Oh, we got cheese dropping. But look at that. Can't tell me that don't look delicious. Delicious. And of course, I'm gonna put some butter across the top of these before I put them in the oven. Actually, yeah, I'm gonna put the butter across the top and then I'm gonna put them in the oven. So I'm gonna do the same thing for the bacon over here. Let's come over here to our bacon one. You guys can see the bacon. Okay, let's get the bacon together. Y'all sit right there. We got our cheese down, now my bacon. I'm gonna cut that bacon in half. Um, 
you know what? I was thinking of maybe, maybe I should do little, little cubes of bacon. Um, I got a lot of bacon. I got a whole lot of bacon, so. Um, maybe I should just do it like this and don't cut it. And then when I cut them, it'll cut the bacon anyway. Let me see. Yeah, I'm gonna do it like this. Cause I got so much bacon. I got a whole lot of bacon. So let's just do it like this. Yeah, we're gonna do it like that. Oh yeah, that's gonna be good. That's gonna be real good. As y'all see, I got a whole pack of bacon. Mm -hmm. I got a whole pack of bacon to work with. So, let's just get it on here. This bacon broke, but that is fine. We're going to get it on there anyway. Okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> Looks good to me. All right. And let's get our omelets on here. Get the omelet on there. Okay. All right. Hmm. I'll eat that. Thank you very much. Okay. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Y'all can't tell me that don't look good. Mm. Got some extra bacon over there. Mm hmm. Mm. Let's, let's make you look pretty. Come on, girl. All right. Mm hmm. Throw some little cheese on there like that. Got mozzarella cheese. You can use whatever cheese you want. You can use cheddar. You know, you can use the cheddar cheese if you want. All right, let's get our tops on. Let's get our tops on here. Get those tops on. Mm-hmm. Quick, easy, simple. Voila. Can't tell me that don't look good. Can't tell me it don't. Breakfast sliders. All right. I'm going to melt a little, I'm going to throw a little butter across the top. 350 degrees for 10 minutes. I'll be back to show y'all the grand finale. Okay, guys, we're back. And I just pulled our breakfast sliders out of the oven. They smell amazing. They look amazing. Oh, look at all that bacon and cheese. Oh, these going to be good, y'all. It's my first time making these. And they're going to be delicious, I can tell. Alright guys, just wanted to come and show y'all the grand finale. Y'all seen me do it, so you know I did it. This is Arika Misha. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Follow me on all my social media at Arika Misha. That's Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube, of course. Thanks guys.